Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, USA. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a very chilly forecast as we go into the rest of the evening and into overnight. We're looking at very cold numbers for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday tomorrow. And again, some warming up as we go into the course of the next couple of days, but it is going to be pretty frigid for the volunteers across the Mid-South as we get into early tomorrow. So if you have plans for outdoors, definitely want to make certain you're bundled up and ready to go because we are talking about some pretty chilly numbers across the Mid-South tonight. But fortunately, again, not looking too bad as we go into the course of the next couple of days. But we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Don't forget to keep up to date by downloading our weather app and finding out more about what's going on throughout the area as we keep you updated there. Welcome to Weather Overtime. This is our online video weather blog, your opportunity to keep up to date with what's going on with weather into and around the Mid-South. Uh, again, we'll answer as many questions as we can regarding the timing of our next storm system coming up. And as we go into the forecast toward the end of this next week, it's not going to be feeling a lot like winter weather out there into the next several days. So again, it's going to be pretty frigid for the holiday tomorrow. Maybe a few flurries coming our way by Monday night into Tuesday, but not great chances of snow. And for the teachers and students out there, not looking at a snow day at this point, the way it's shaping up for right now. We'll talk about that. But beyond the flurries, and it's been a little bit chilly from time to time, so where is winter gone? Well, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Drop your location and any weather reports you've got into the comments section. We'd love to see where you're checking in from and what the weather's like in your area. Again, we cover North Mississippi, East Arkansas, West Tennessee, and that's the main area of the Mid-South with Memphis right there in the center of all that. So once again, thanks for joining us and stay tuned for a lot more as we keep you updated on what's going on. Very cold tonight as a reinforcing shot of cold air comes on through. Late tonight, temperatures past midnight will be heading into the lower 20s under mostly clear skies. Winds will be breezy out there, so wind chills across the Mid-South back into the teens, maybe even the single digits by early tomorrow morning, depending on how low that temperature goes and how high the winds go into tomorrow morning. So heading off for, again, days of cleaning up, helping to improve the Mid-South area tomorrow, uh, dedicating the day to Dr. King looking at some very cold numbers to start things off. So please keep that in mind. Plan ahead to make certain that you've got, again, everything covered up, the gloves, the hat, the scarf, dressing in layers. So again, that's what we're going to be looking for, for the possibility of some pretty chilly numbers out there. Kenneth Sims needs some heat and temperatures to be 70 degrees or more. Uh, that's a natty idea, but I don't think it's going to be catching on anytime soon. But keep that in mind for the next few months. 33 in Bartlett, John Michael, thank you very much. Uh, for that one, 30 in Ripley, Tennessee, Arterbridge, Louise, Tina. Thank you very much for uh, checking in for this evening across the Mid-South and everybody else who's checking in uh, for this evening as well. Rest of the evening, again, we're going to be seeing the possibility of some pretty cold weather out there by tomorrow morning around daybreak. Temperatures will be in the lower 20s. Mostly clear skies, a few thin clouds drifting on through as that Air comes in from the northwest, so we'll see those stick around off and on tomorrow, but otherwise mostly sunny and temperatures tomorrow going back into around the lower to mid 30s, so not much better than that. That's the high temperature we're expecting tomorrow, and that's going to be well below where we should be for this time of the year. Already below normal for today, mid 40s for high temperatures out there, and we're still ahead for the year by about three inches plus across much of the area for right now, looking at some pretty soggy conditions. So hopefully not too much rain in our extended forecast, but once again, we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Uh, Teresa Thressa Solly, so ready for summer, wasn't made for cold weather. A lot of people uh, expressing some views that there would be some nice warmer weather out there for right now. Cindy Harrison Blanchard, I'm betting it's rather chilly up in Minot, North Dakota. Uh, welcome to the show for right now. John Michael, checking disaster kit. That's a good idea at any time of the year or having a go bag ready to go just to make certain in case a need to evacuate comes up with severe weather or anything else going on. A little bit of light haze, maybe a little bit of fog out into and around the area of South Haven, looking around I-55 and Goodman Road off toward Horn Lake in the distance from our Baptist DeSoto camera. Otherwise, clear skies up above. Looking at very dry conditions out there and a beautiful view looking upstream on the Mississippi River toward the mighty lights display on the I-40 bridge. Downtown Memphis on the right, 
eastern Arkansas on the left, but otherwise a very clear view across much of the Mid-South. Sharp, clear skies out there. Good night for stargazing. Hopefully you had a chance to see the International Space Station fly overhead for tonight. Not many chances of that in the near future as we have more cloud cover on the way into the next couple of days. Mississippi River, lots of water coming downstream. And the river is expected to crest. Flood stage in Memphis is 34 feet, and we're going to be cresting just about a half a foot below that into the next several days. Now, again, we're not talking about catastrophic flooding, anything in the way of problems downtown, anything like what we saw back in about uh, 2011, nothing like that. But you may notice some of the trails and roadways on the bottomlands of eastern Arkansas. Uh, again, from those exercise trails over there, some of those could be closed, and Big River Crossing gates might be closed in the next few days, so that could be a bit of an issue. And if we get any more water upstream draining down the channel and coming down Memphis, this forecast will change, and we'll see how much everything goes on in the near future. Uh, follow Dr. Gene Wrench, R-E-N-C-H, on Twitter, service hydrologist for the National Weather Service. Tons of great information on here. Uh, to get more details about what's going on into and around the area when it comes to flooding into and around the Mid-South. So a uh, good opportunity to keep up to date on what's going on out there. Now clear in the Mid-South area, again, the winds coming in from out of the north, moving lines on screen, that's the surface winds. And again, clearing skies for right now. A few clouds back into around the area of Arkansas as that next front settles into the area for tonight. That's that push of cold air coming on through. Next couple of days, as we get into around Monday night into Tuesday, minor storm system gearing up in southern Canada. It's a small, compact system called a short wave. These short wave systems, as they rocket on through, can do a very good job of altering a forecast or messing one up. Believe me, I've been on the receiving end of a couple of these before. Now, as this passes on through the area, moisture will be limited but still possible, and this is what's going to give us the potential of some snow coming up Monday night into Tuesday. Just doesn't seem we're going to be getting a lot of it, and we'll explain why coming up here in just a little bit. Otherwise, dry across the Mid-South, no problems at all on Storm Tracker 3S radar, and again, seeing some, again, activity out there in the way of rain. A couple more days away, we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody who's just joining us. Again, drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section, and we'll read some of those weather reports off as we go along. WeatherNet 3, just past the top of the hour, lower 30s and dropping. We only got into the lower 40s today, and we'll be seeing some pretty breezy conditions out there. Winds around Cross County High School, 10 miles per hour plus. That's wind chills in the lower 20s to upper teens tonight, and it's going to get even colder than that by about 10 degrees as we go into the rest of the evening and overnight as well. News Channel 3 at 10, upper 20s to lower 30s, and by daybreak tomorrow morning could be some lower 20s around Dyersburg, Blytheville, the Boot Hill, Northeast Arkansas, Northwest Tennessee. Metro area, again, mid to upper 20s, but outlying areas of Shelby County could be seeing some lower 20s out there into the overnight hours. And high temperatures tomorrow, again, just really not seeing too much of anything uh, in the way of warm weather. Mid to lower 30s into and around the area for right now, and that's going to be about it. Now, notice again the colors changing here. The possibility of snow, moisture, several the, down toward the surface is going to be pretty dry, and up several thousand feet. That's where the moisture is going to be coming into the area for right now and that will be arriving into tomorrow afternoon. But I don't think we're going to be seeing anything down toward the surface, and we'll talk about why that is again for right now. Seeing this minor burst of moisture coming on through the area, again, riding on through, snow showers possible late Monday into early Tuesday. But the problem we've got is that down toward the surface, it's very dry, the moisture moving in several thousand feet up, and as that moisture drops into that dry layer, the snow sublimates. It just disappears like dry ice. It doesn't melt. It just actually falls apart and evaporates, basically. So what we're looking at is, again, the possibility of some snow coming through a few thousand feet up in the atmosphere, but then dropping into the dry layer near the surface. Maybe a few flurries, but really beyond that, we may not see uh, too much of anything else across the Mid-South for right now. Much of what we're going to be looking for, again, is the way of accumulation. It's going to start off Monday evening to our north and west, moving into the Mid-South as we go toward Tuesday morning early. 
and that's going to be about the extent of it. So again, the best possibility is going to be for a dusting. There's just not enough moisture and there's too much dry air for anything to stick in the way of any accumulations. Now there could be, again, a little bit more than a dusting in some areas if there's enough moisture, but right now it really just doesn't look like it. So the possibility of anything being an accumulation, very slim. Any possibility of there being a snow day for the teachers and students out there? Yes, I know you're asking about that already. No, this is not gonna happen as we go into the rest of the forecast. So that's gonna be our latest best shot of anything involving winter weather, and it's not great at this time, so not seeing a big help on this for right now. Temperatures, again, for the rest of the evening into tomorrow morning. For the holiday itself, again, outdoor activities, volunteer work, especially tomorrow. Please make certain you're bundled up and ready to go because this is gonna be some of the coldest air of the season so far, back in the lower to mid 30s. Those will be the maximum numbers for tomorrow. And with a healthy northerly breeze, it's gonna be very uncomfortable working outdoors with bare hands and exposed skin. So be prepared to get bundled up, dress in layers. So if you get too hot, you can take off a layer or two and cool off. You don't wanna be sweaty and wet under cold conditions like this, that's a very good way to bring on some sickness and not feeling all that great. So get prepared for that tomorrow. Very chilly across the entire Mid-South for any volunteers outdoor for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Tuesday, back to work. Again, possibility of snow showers in the morning, but no accumulation out of this expected. Otherwise, sunny skies out there for the most part. More clouds coming our way in advance of our next system heading on through by about Wednesday. And that leads us to some very mild temperatures by week's end. Numbers will be back close to normal back in the lower 50s or so. So we're not seeing, again, anything in the way of huge amounts of cold air and winter weather at least sticking around for several days to come. We're way too far south for anything to really be that cold for that long. And if you take a look north of us around the Dakotas and into around the Great Lakes, it stays colder up there because the more snow that piles up, that acts as its own refrigeration system and keeps the air above that snow just a little bit colder. So we're not seeing that happening uh, here in the around the Mid-South area. Don Garner, 28, in Dyersburg. Welcome to the show. Thank you for the weather report there. Bartlett, pretty chilly. Kim Sherlock, thank you very much uh, for that one. And Latanya James, Clarksdale, Mississippi. Cold, cold twice. So cold, he had to say it two times. That's pretty chilly out there. Uh, thanks to everybody for the weather reports on there, and thanks for stopping by for tonight. Next best chance of uh, anything involving rainfall looks like it's going to be aiming our direction toward late Wednesday night, probably into around Thursday. That'll continue onwards. Too warm for anything but rainfall out there. A cold rain Thursday night into Friday, and then high temperatures on Friday, very close to normal back in the lower 50s or so. After that, very mild Temperatures approaching 60 degrees by the time we finish up the month as we head from January into around February. And we see again that potential for some dry conditions out there. Don't think we're going to hear too many complaints about that because again, we're above normal for the year so far. We just finished up the fourth wettest year in Memphis history. And as of right now, I think a couple of days to kind of dry out might not be such a bad idea at this point. So again, good news for the end of the week into the weekend getting rid of the rainfall there and a few dry days coming our way. Looks like things will be much more pleasant uh, as we go into the next couple of days for right now. John Michael, do I keep a first aid kit in my vehicle? Yes, it's updated uh, often. And my go bag as an amateur radio operator is also operated uh, and cleaned up and ready to go as well as a good amateur radio operator should have stuff like that ready to go. Rest of the day tomorrow, Really no good news, again, overall, as we're looking for some pretty cold conditions. Starting off in the mid to upper 20s as the sun comes out and warms things up a little bit. But the rest of the day, lower to mid 30s at best. And those winds will continue out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So a very chilly holiday coming up for the Mid-South. But at least it'll be dry for earlier on from what it looks like for right now. I'd like to keep up to date with what's going on with weather. We'll help you do that. The weather experts on WREG.com slash weather. Forecast information, climate data, uh, information from the National Weather Service, extended forecast, travel information, go Jim go, how to contact Tim for Pass It On, all available again at WREG.com slash weather for more details on that. Also, proud to announce that today 
tonight. Finally, after some technical difficulties, we have finally gotten the latest edition of our environment blog, Your Environment, up and working. It is ready to go, and it's available right now for you to watch. It'll be posted at wreg.com weather, but you can get to that page Again, to our main environment page at wreg.com slash weather slash environment. We take a look at climate data, climate scientists that can help you understand what's going on, local events when it comes to tree planting or garbage cleanups or just environmental awareness, how to talk to your state, local, and federal legislators about climate change and how to better talk to people who have questions about it. It's all available and more information on our brand new video blog for 2020 your environment, and again, more information at wreg.com slash weather slash environment. Going to be able to pick up everything there to see more about what's going on. Dry and cold tonight, and again, a chance of rain later on after a chance of snow as we get into early Monday or late Monday, early Tuesday, and that should again do for the chance of any winter weather anytime soon across the Mid-South. Thanks to everybody for joining us for tonight. Again, a pretty simple forecast all the way on through for the time being, so not doing too bad. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you want to see on here, we'd love to be able, uh, if you'd like to see more satellite pictures, more climate data, more website links, more pictures, well, you got to send those in, so I can't really do too much there. But if you have anything you'd like to see, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to hear from you, and again, bringing you as much weather information as we can to prove that we are the station that is on your side, so you keep coming back for more details on this. So again, glad to bring you the best weather information we possibly can, and if there's something we can do to make it better, let me know, and we'll see what we can do to add that on. We'll be on at 10 o'clock exactly tonight. NFL did not run over for us as the Titans lost to the Chiefs today. And again, we'll have more details on that with Megan Rice on News Channel 3. Janae Lewis is all the day's news. And yours truly was, again, the weather forecast. That'll be tonight exactly on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight on Weather Overtime. And stick around for Todd Demers' forecast bright and early Monday morning starting at 4.30.